say hi. Hi. Hello, guys. Welcome back to the channel. Well, I'm Jessica from Yixeras, and this is. Daddy. Gai or Ginevra. You guys probably know her better as Ginevra. But today we're doing a grocery haul. Today was a really interesting grocery haul day. Um, went to two stores. I went to Freshco for the first time. Never been there, but they had a really great deal on large eggs, so we wanted to get that. And um, also I went to our local No Frills, which has been pretty much my go-to. However, it was a very odd experience. I've never had an experience quite like it, like that at our No Frills, but that's okay. Here we go. Let's get started with the haul. These are the items that I got. And of course I got some clearance things and I also have some tidbits on products such as the applesauce. But I got two things of eggs, uh, so a total of 60 eggs from Freshco because the deal was 30 of the large eggs for like $5.88, which is a really good deal. Most of the time it's like 30 of the medium eggs for $5 and that's a, like a really great price. So Nelson was like, okay, let's go get some of the large ones because we've been do using a lot of eggs and cooking, baking and all that stuff. Then also from the uh, from Freshco, I also got a tub of ricotta cheese. It was on sale for $4, which when I looked at other prices, which normally is around $6, so $4 is also a pretty good price. We did get the light kind, um, which has 40% less fat than the regular ricotta, you know, eh, just because. So, and then of course, you never got some. What'd you get? Pocky. Pocky, what kind is it? Strawberry. Strawberry Pocky. She loves the strawberry. She loves Pockies. So I got her two of the strawberry Pockies because it's been harder to find, actually. Um, I've been seeing a lot of the chocolate ones and the plain ones and the green tea ones, but I haven't seen the strawberry ones in our local stores for a little while. So I saw a couple of these. Uh, that I thought maybe they only had like 15 boxes in total, but she doesn't need that many. So I just got her two of those just as an extra special treat. So now that's all I got from Freshco. And at Freshco, I spent $18 pretty much on the nose. So it was okay. It wasn't bad. And then here is the rest of the items. All the rest of the items I did get from No Frills. And so let's start off with the usual basics that I do get. And this should last us for at least a week and a half. Just because Nathaniel is now pretty much 100% on cow's milk. Um, so we do go through our milk a lot. But usually, it's a, sometimes I buy three bags of milk. But I have no freezer space right now. So I'm going to do two bags of milk. Or I have very little freezer space. So I got two bags of milk. And they were just regular price. five fifty seven at our local no frills. And then um, also I was able... And that was the only thing that was on regular price everything else oh no, no no i like bananas bananas were also at regular price for 57 cents a pound but there's a funny story about the bananas as well what do you mean a funny story i want to tell you guys about that in a little bit okay let me just get through the haul first and then i'll tell all the funny stories so then i also got three things of the applesauce the unsweetened no-name applesauce nathaniel goes through a lot of applesauce as well as i use in some of my baking um it's almost like his dessert or his like palate cleanser when it comes to food so i always get the unsweetened ones and these were uh regular price for two dollars however if you do shop up here in canada at shoppers drug marts canadian superstore go to esso to fill up your gas or if you shop at no frills it's good to get the optimum points because they had a promotion where for every dollar you spend on applesauce you get 200 um optimum points which means that i end up getting a total of i think 12 1200 optimum points from this uh which works out to be a dollar 20 back so it's a decent savings because they're only two dollars each so i mean it's almost getting one at just over half price so yay and baby brother gets a baby brother eats so so much applesauce we have to usually we have to buy five yeah, you know what? The funny thing is I didn't have five containers left. They only had three con Well, actually, no, they had four containers left, but I felt bad because I didn't want... There was a, there was a lineup to buy them, but, well, buy that area, so I didn't want to take all the applesauce in case someone else needed. So I did grab three. They had, they had the sweetened ones, but... I don't want to give that to my son. All right, then we got some uh, sour cream. The sour cream was a dollar off. I think it was like a dollar fifty off. So I got one of those, and the expiration date is until the end of March. So I have a good month to use that for some baking and sauces. Um, and then this was an awesome deal: the Beatrice stirred yogurt. This is the smaller containers, like five hundred grams, and it was on sale for a dollar. But there was a fifty cent stick, a fifty percent sticker off on it. So I end up getting this for fifty cents. I can freeze this if I choose to. However, I still have five days before the 
the best before date so we can definitely finish that up in five days that's not a problem so these are the mushrooms i've shown you guys these mushrooms before in a previous haul so there was a container for like 270 grams for on sale for a uh, dollar ninety seven, which is like a so so deal. When it's a dollar, it's a good deal. But a dollar ninety seven, like yeah, it's so so deal. But it's still on sale compared to the regular price. However, if you look at the um the 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 price per unit, this one works out to be a bit cheaper. So I am getting this because I mean honestly, I just chop these up really small anyways, and I throw them in my stir fries and my sauces, and no one can tell the difference that they're naturally imperfect. They're not like the perfect round shape. So we got a bunch of those. I get got the brown whole mushrooms. I can't tell the taste difference between brown whole mushrooms and white button mushrooms. Maybe it's just me. You guys tell me. Let me know. Um, I also got some tomatoes. Tomatoes were half price. They've been $2 a pound regular and they were also for 99 cents. However, I have never, ever, 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 and I stress saying that again, I have never, ever, 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 ever seen tomatoes at such bad quality at my local no frills they were horrible i'm so sorry and i usually love my no frills but they were so bad like they were bruised there was mold on more than just one some of them were squished and they had them up for sale which i thought was really really odd and weird i don't know i've never seen that at my local no frills ever before like the quality control has never been at that level so hopefully it's just a one-off so the next time i go shopping it'll be it'll be better so i only got four because i didn't want to stand there picking through everything but i found four that were okay that i can make a pasta sauce or i can make like a quick soup out of i also ended up getting a package of chickpeas i like to make like these little crunchy snacks out of them which are absolutely delicious if you're interested i'm going to link it up here for you um i i cook them in my instapot and then i roast them in the oven and they're so tasty they make such a satisfying crunchy snack and then i also got two bags of the mozzalina fair folly uh, noodles these are Ginevra's favorite noodles they only had two left in the store of this particular one because they were on sale so I did get her two of the bow tie ones because those are her favorite ones she likes that shape because they're so darn cute and then I ended up getting um the two things of bread wonder bread so they were not on sale they were regular price for 247 each however they did each have a 50 percent off sticker so it's basically two of them for 247 however i could have got either gotten this one or the harvest the country harvest one but i decided to get this one because um again with the optimum points there was a um a promotion where for every two dollars you get 200 points so these two combined i got 200 points on that deal which is like basically an extra 20 cents off so i mean it's not a lot of money but it does add up going back to the banana store because you never wanted to hear about this banana story the bananas were 57 cents a pound and then this was a dollar however when we scanned through for some reason the cashier decided to do 50 percent off this and keep this at the regular like the regular advertised price which was a dollar so all in all it still worked out in my favor she knew about it i mean um she did see it and she's like oh it's fine you just save an extra 10 cents because this would have been a dollar 20 for the bananas and then this would have been 50 cents however she got the bananas here for 60 cents because she did 50% off the dollar 20 and then full price well full advertised price for this so I ended up saving an extra 10 cents for that so I'm happy with that I can live with that so I got two things of frozen spinach they were a dollar each and that's saving 87 cents on each one I do throw this in my freezer with whatever little space I have but we really really like this in our lasagnas or Ginevra has been asking me to try to make the Mario uh, Eastside Mario um, Italian meatball soup which I have never made before yeah so if you have a good recipe for the Italian meatball soup uh, do let me know oh, so I think it's called the Italian wedding soup anyways link it down below so that we can try it out Thank you. so now the final thing the final thing were these three packages of sausages this was the hilarious part I hear it. okay so for these three sausages the they have the advertised price at $7.97 for it. And then I found these 30% off stickers, which means that, you know, the best before date's coming is March 10th. So I still have a good six days. I am going to portion these out and freeze them because it'll be put like putting them um, in the oven just to kind of do a sheet pan meal or to put these in our pastas or sometimes, you know, just have a, have a sausage with, uh, with some bread. So, um... Regular price of these were $12.97, I believe. So that's my coffee maker. Sorry, guys. So regular price for this is like $12.97. And so when 
well, I was busy packing things up uh, as she was scanning them, so I didn't notice that they scanned for twelve ninety seven. And what happened was that after I got the receipt, I looked at it and I was like, oh no, these are supposed to be scanned for seven ninety seven because it's a promotion on it, um, and and then the thirty percent off after that. She wouldn't believe me. <laughs> Which is fine, which is fine because they have to do their job, and and so she was like, no, 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 it's not. It's scanned at twelve ninety seven. So I was like, no, 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 no. What? There's an advertised price, and there's more than these these three packages. There's several there that are showing for seven ninety seven. So she was like, okay, we'll go check. We'll go check. So we went to the place to check. She saw that there were several packages there of different varieties, all on sale for seven ninety seven, exact same weight, that brand, and everything. And she's like, no. The um, the seven ninety seven must be with the thirty percent off from the twelve ninety seven. Like, but the math doesn't work. It just doesn't work. It doesn't make sense. So you take twelve ninety seven and you take thirty percent off of that. That doesn't equal to seven ninety seven. So it doesn't make sense. So then she's like, okay, I need to go talk to the supervisor. So she went and talked to the supervisor, and the supervisor was like, I don't know. So talk to the meat department. So then they, they had to go to the meat department. They called them. The meat department guy, I guess, maybe didn't hear or was busy with another customer. And they were basically playing Ring Around the Rosie, trying to find each other in the store. And I was like, this took, no doubt, my checkout time took 40 minutes, guys. 40 minutes! So then at the end, what happened was that they gave me the deal, which I think is was supposed to be the deal. They're like, oh, Thursdays are sometimes kind of weird because that's like switchover day, which is fine, I understand. But they couldn't do that. This cash, so I had to go to another cash, so we had to wait for that cash. And then that cashier wouldn't do it. She's like, no, you have to do it. So then, then they had to do that checkout thing. I don't quite know, like, you know, like sign in. I don't know. Anyways, all in all, I end up getting these. They worked up to be $5 and change for the entire pack. And each package has nine works out to be just over 50 cents per sausage because each one has nine which is a really great deal and so i mean i will probably package these up into threes because the threes i can just use as a stir fry or what have you like a sheep head meal or something like that and then we'll have tons of sausage or for a barbecue season mm, yum 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 the experience was just interesting it wasn't like a horrible experience it was just a lot of waiting around and if i didn't have to pee it would have been okay <laughs> TMI, I know. Anyways, um, all in all, in uh, No Frills, I spent around $57 is what I spent at No Frills, which is okay considering that we got some protein. The milk itself cost over 10 bucks, So I'm pretty happy with this haul. Um, with this grocery run and some of the stuff is going to go into stockpile and then I still have like vegetables and frozen food that I want to finish up um, in my freezer space. That's it for this video guys. I hope you enjoyed hanging out with Ginevra and I for this grocery haul. It was actually another quick and dirty one, right Moy? Hmm? It was very quick, wasn't it? Yes. Yes. If you guys have any interesting, funny grocery stories, please share them so we can all have a good giggle because at this time, during this time of our lives, we could all use a wonderful giggle. If you're new to this channel, make sure you do hit that subscribe button as well as a little bell icon beside it so you never miss a video notification. I do try to post up a video every Wednesday on this channel, but if you want to see some of my beauty videos or my review videos or business videos, make sure you do jump over to the Dancing Avon Lady and there I post up at least every Mondays and Fridays and sometimes there is a bonus video in there. I love you guys. We'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. Bye.